and succulent growers it's Lynn and in today's video is going to be mega exciting because we're going to be taking our old big green polytunnel down and uh, clearing all the space in the yard dismantling the whole of it and uh, getting it all prepared for our new clear polytunnel coming on Friday so we're very very excited so a lot of work to do and if you didn't see the video I put up, I think it was a couple of days ago when we took every single plant, and we have a lot guys, out of this polytunnel into our house temporary so we've got space to put the new one up, then you must watch that video, I'll link that up above and it will also be down below in the video description. But today we're going to be dismantling this and I'm just going to film little short video clips and then put it all together at the end, before and after. So we've got a lot to do, it's a gorgeous day today, icy cold but blue sky so it couldn't be better and uh, time to get cracking, enjoy the video guys and uh, send us lots of positive plant power energy. <laughs> so here what we got to work with, there's just a few bits and bobs that we put back in here temporarily, our lawnmower and uh, our heater, dehumidifier, and little plant table that I use. But all this is going to be coming out into the yard. And this floor, as you can see, it's gone now. We've put some tarpaulin down to, because we have flagstones here, which is going to be great for the new polytunnel as well. And the tarpaulin stops damp from rising up, gives a bit of insulation as well. All this bubble wrap has been up for six years, so this is just going to be coming out. And then we're going to dismantle all of these poles here and uh, hopefully it won't be too big of a job to I think these just sort of click out and then we have to unscrew some of them with the bolts so um, gosh here we go then guys let's get to starting now what we started with here is removing these big water tanks we put these in because this polytunnel is one that we had all sandbags going round and the extra big heavy tank of water helps to support the frame so this is what we've been using to support the frame so this is the first to come out woohoo that's the tarpaulin all removed and then we've just got this liner this floor liner that wasn't really a necessity to put up to be honest the tarpaulin does the job but now to take all this out so that's the floor lining all taken away and you see weeds are still coming through and uh, the slabs here, these uh, slab tiles are going to be great for our new one because the polytunnel is going to be more stable, they're going to be putting base plates down and it's going to mean we don't have to worry about putting the sandbags around or water tanks to anchor it down and uh, lucky we get a new polytunnel because this, the door's completely gone on our old one so it would have been a nightmare if we wasn't able to get a new polytunnel so happy days, now we're just going to remove all this bubble wrap some of this bubble wrap is pretty much okay, you may be able to save it and reuse it again but most of it is going to be sort of going, we're going to get more bubble wrap for the new one anyway so that's all the bubble wrap removed and now we're going to be removing the cover and uh, then obviously dismantling the frame here's Hansi removing the cover from the polytunnel and obviously we're removing all the sand that we had around to anchor it down haha <laughs> there's Hansi so we're starting to dismantle the uh, the cage of the polytunnel now and we've just turned these bars that we have the hanging baskets on upside down it's easier to um, to sort of work to manoeuvre and take them off so um, this is the frame as you can see out there well guys that's the cover taken off and just the frame now to dismantle woohoo we get in there that's uh, half of it done and the roof took off and uh, Fonzie's doing a great job dismantling all of them poles. Woohoo guys, that's it all done. The old polytunnel is completely cleared and as you can see it's just all the, all the slab stones now. So all prepared and all ready for our lovely new clear polytunnel coming arriving on Friday. So do stay tuned for the next video, probably in the next couple of days or so when I can get it obviously filmed and done of our new clear polytunnel and I'll try and get a few video clips of the guys when they're fitting up the polytunnel as well so I'm um, very 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 excited and thank you so much for watching and a big thumbs up to my wonderful partner Hansi who has been working like an absolute trooper today 
dismantling the old polytunnel, sweeping everything. And we've, we've done so much, guys, but Hans has just been working amazing. So if you're not familiar with Hans's channel, Plant Daddy, do go over and subscribe. Links up above and down below in the video description. And thank you all, guys, for all your support. It, do leave a comment in the comment down below, even a heart or smiley face, because every heart, and so every comment really helps the algorithm. And if you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and there's a plant of Avalon. And do check my website out, there's a plant of And I want to be sure <laughs> an amazing plant powered day. And as I say, stay tuned for our new polytunnel coming. Whoa!